Hello, this is Hamid and in this session I'm gonna teach you how to set up the captive portal in Palo Alto Firewall. Actually in this diagram you see that we have a management Kali to for the firewall and this machine wants to reach the firewall and reach the internet. Now the machine can easily reach the internet if you if I log into the in machine and search just google.com you can see that uh, the machine is easily can reach to the internet now we can we want to set up the captive portal and the goal is that when the user uh, wants to uh, connect to the internet they should uh, provide their credential first and after that they can connect to the internet so for setting the captive portal uh, the first step is uh, to set up your uh, zone and we have two zones here trust and untrust and click on your trust zone because my trust zone is my local area network and you should enable user identification in the trust zone so here I enable the user identification and then go and create the interface management profile so I create a profile here for a captive portal I call it captive and you should enable response response pages here then go to your interface as you can see in diagram interface 1 slash 2 uh, is connected to local so here I assign the profile that I created for interface and I assign it to the interface 1 slash 2 captive perfect and the next step is uh, to set up the captive portal and for setting up the captive portal uh, we need the user so I log in I go to device local user database because I don't have any LDAP server or radius server here I just want to connect through the local mm, database so I add another user and the user is gonna be my name Hamid and I set the password for the user then I go and here in authentication profile I create a profile for the user I call it local profile and the type is gonna be local database local database oops and in the advanced tab you should say which user can log in you can set it as all or say it as only this user can log into the database and the next step is gonna be uh, going to user identification and then you user identification captive portal settings you should set enable the captive portal your authentication profile is local profile that you created in previous steps and you can set the TLS SSL or if you have a certificate you can set the certificate in my case I don't have any certificate there are two modes here transparent and the redirect I select the redirect and I assign the 
interface because the interface Ethernet 1 slash 2 is 192.168.1.10.1 so I assign this one to redirect costs click OK and then I go the for the final step I go to policy and in the authentication you can fit the policy for your captive portal captive portal so the source is gonna be from untrusted no sorry trusted zone to uh, untrust and the action here authentication enforcement we have um, different options select the def default browser challenge so you enter the uh, username password for the user okay and then commit your configuration in the firewall so commit the configuration and then uh, the next step is to verify our configuration so I go to Kali 1 again and here now I try to reach to like Amazon let's see ask me the username and the password so uh, I can enter the username password but if you cancel that uh, it automatically you go to captive pearl and in captive pearl you can enter the username and the password here and we can reach to the Amazon website I hope this has been informative and thanks for watching